How are you two? Hmm. Clandestine pipe here. Enjoying everything in the universe. <clears throat> it is, uh, for the first time in a couple days, warm enough to smoke. Mm. An absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Doesn't it, though? Mmm. Sorry, I stopped I'm trying to stop moving around so much in my videos. I pace while I talk. I pace while I do just about everything. But I know it's bad when I can hardly watch my videos without getting seasick. <laughs> so I'm going to try to stand a bit more still, huh? Enjoying in a nice clay pipe. A bit of black Mallory, my rat tray, which is glorious. Which means always just pug. There he is. Doing his thing. Um, and our topic of this video is a book book review. A couple books actually. Um on the suggestion of Pipe Pastor. Uh I picked up The Pendragon Cycle by Stephen Lawhead, which is a retelling of the Arthur legend, really from uh, start to finish. And it was so much fun. It was really great. Um, I suspect I'm not the only fantasy enthusiast in the pipe community. And if not, then I would invite you to look into that one. Because it's awfully good. Um, the two words of warning I'd give you is that, and he prefaces this, but he respells, or probably, you know, because of a, a great deal of research, spells all the names differently. So, uh, if you go on the uh, Wikipedia article about those books, you'll find a lot of good information, and amongst that good information, you'll find, uh, he wrote them a bit out of order, and I couldn't tell if it was to be artsy-fartsy, or whether there was some deeper reason, it's very clear that he's steeped in the legend, so, um, yeah, what did I say, fun, fantastic, uh, unashamedly told from, like I say, from his perspective, uh, also on the Wikipedia article, you can find documented some of the complaints, mm, or maybe possible historical inaccuracies or historical inaccuracies, which I could care less about because I'm not reading about uh, fantasy novels to learn what middle evil, medieval England was like by any stretch of the imagination. So definitely check them out. Five books. Uh, it begins with Taliesin and then moves through Merlin to Arthur, to Pendragon, to Grail, and uh, don't get hung up at the end of Arthur. Keep reading. Um, you'll understand why. Um, yeah. Mm. Fantastic. And totally worth your time, so thank you to Pipe Pester for the suggestion. Hopefully many others will enjoy it. I'm moving on to... Mm. I found another couple books of his at the used bookstore, so we're moving forward into that one. I hope you all have a wonderful day and that the smoke continues to satisfy. Have a good one.